If I change my shirt, it's a new day, right? <laughs> Mass filming is happening because that's what you do when you need to put up a video every day. So, what's in my cauldron? Let's talk about this. I will never forget that for some reason, I felt that if I didn't clean out, maintain, and was like all about the cleanliness of my witchy tools, I was doing it wrong. Something was wrong, something was messed up, something wasn't right. Well, then I heard the lovely Chris Ashburn mention on a live somewhere that it was like her cauldron became like a graveyard of incense sticks and matches and I was like, oh yes, me too, yay, it's not just me, how wonderful. So this is what my cauldron currently looks like again. I cleaned it out not that long ago, as y'all saw when I rearranged my room, my altar, like that shouldn't have been that different, and yet, this is what it looks like again because I use it all the time. What do I put in here? What do I burn in here? What do I use it for? A little more in depth and just talking about com some of the silliness and craziness that's in here. And how it's got a little bit messy. Yeah, let's, let's get into that. So, obviously, sticks. Uh, one of the things that I've been definitely doing is I have a whole bunch of matches. As you can see right here, there's long ones. I've got some other ones in a cute little container that's got the moon phases on it. And I've had these matches for a while, and I was running out of all my lighters. I was like, oh, I don't want to go buy more lighters. And I was like, I have matches. Why don't I use the matches? So I've been like trying to use up what I have, so matches. But, you know, I just need to like light a little bit of incense, light a little candle real quick, and then I'm like, well, the rest of you, I don't want to waste you because, you know, fire magic, I use it a lot. This is helpful. So I'll just stick it in the cauldron for now. So I have a bunch of these. I've got some like black ones because, you know, that those are all tan normal matches. These are black matches for whatever reason. And then inside of here too, I have bits of ash of all the different cone incenses I used to use. I have now, I've shifted way more to stick incense. I've always been kind of into stick incense in general, just because I've always had stick incense holders and that seemed to be the way to go. And then I realized, oh wait, I can burn incense in my cauldron. And then I really bought a bunch of cone incense to really dive into that. But now I've used that all up. So at the bottom of this actually has not been cleaned out at all is a bunch of stick in uh, cone incense ash. A lot of sandalwood, a lot of, oh god what else is it? gardenia flower incense was definitely being burnt in mass along with, oh what was the other one I did? I couldn't find dragon's blood at the time, someone was out. Was it jasmine? Something else. There was another flower incense that was, cone incense I was burning in here all the time too. And at the time I looked up their associations but for the life of me I don't know what it is. I cannot remember associations past looking them up like there are even times where I'm like write it down and I do I write it down and I'm just like I have to, like I have to constantly look back at it again like what what, what were you supposed to be but let's see if I can tip this a bit maybe you guys will be able to like this is just it's a mess it's messy in here and a lot of it too is the fact that I don't clean this out all that often because it, when it is kind of in this state where I can still see like different parts of things that haven't been burned per se I'm almost like well you're not done yet like until you're like white ash nothing like, I don't want to empty you out quite yet. So what else I uh, put in my cauldron on the regular to burn is a mix of different, let's see, this is the ritual herbs from Tame the Wild Apothecary that I burn in here quite often whenever I'm about to do some sort of spell. Uh, contains passion flower, hawthorn berries, ladies mantle, and mugwort. This get burned on the regular. And I get, it's like, it's just like some loose incense in a cute little bottle. And I just, I put a little bit in here along with whatever else I'm burning at the time. I also attempted at one point a while ago to make a ink and I did it all in my cauldron because I was like sacred space, got the magic, yes. And it just turned into a big molded over mess. Like it didn't, it was, oh God, I smelled awful. So I felt the need to really clean my cauldron out after that. So now I've kind of, I went from liquids to no liquids go into the cauldron ever, except for an oil every once in a while to kind of get certain fires going. I'll put on, I have a lot of jasmine uh, ab essential oil that I've been using quite a lot in almost everything. I either anoint myself with this and or, and it's in jojoba oil. I got it from Whole Foods, like it's not all that fancy. But yeah, uh, I use this quite a bit uh, just cause the scent is absolutely lovely and we have a whole bunch of jasmine bushes kind of surrounding me. So I'm like, well, whatever magic is surrounding me naturally, Maybe I should use a bit more too, just in life in general at my altar. Uh, the next thing I use all the time is plants that are around here because in the desert things dry up real quick. So what's nice about that is that I get to burn them <laughs> in my culture. Uh, the amount of uh, dried jasmine flowers I put in here, I put a bunch of my own garden dried rose petals in here. Oh God, what else, what else? Try and think of anything else. There was also a little piece of a succulent plant that kind of broke off and was dying and so it has been 
It just is kind of really sad now, but yeah, that got burnt in here a bunch. It's been taking forever to burn. I put that in here a long time ago. And also there is my little bit of Palo Santo that has been charred to absolute hell that is also in here. And every time it lights and that smell lights off, I kind of take it as, okay, things have now been burnt to the point of being cleansed. Like that's kind of like the final, like I, when I smell that, when the fire hits that in the cauldron, I'm like, ooh, something's been complete. I don't know why. But this is the state of my cauldron at the moment. It is just, it's just a hot mess in here. But that's what's in my cauldron. And I'm going to probably save all these sticks that are in here. Look, come back. But I'm going to empty a lot of the ash in a bit and kind of just give it back to nature, I guess. Like, I want to kind of just give back to the earth and do all that. So yeah, that's what's in my cauldron. What's in your cauldron? What do you love to burn? And or are you way more of the liquid senses where I am no ever since the mold incident? I don't want to do it again. A little bit of oil sometimes every once in a while, but I'm also terrified of oil fires, fire safety people. So yeah, what do you put in yours? Are you all about the liquids? Are you certain flowers you love to burn? Or certain uh, oils or and or herb blends? Like, are you all about it? Certain incenses? Tell me, tell me all the things. I'm always looking for more ideas of how to use my cauldrons. Anyway, this is part of October, so I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>